There we go. <clears throat> All right, take four, and we're finally in. Welcome back, everybody. You're watching the Premier League Season 3 playoffs. This is a loser's bracket match. Dignitas versus Fnatic Ray Call, and this is game number one in the best of three series. My name is Triumph Man, and joining me is Eternal Envy from No Tide Hunter. And we'll be casting this game for you, but straight away, MV, we do have a Darkseer being banned out by Digitas. I mean, this guy's been getting hit by the nerf stick patch after patch, and he's still here. He's still here. People love him, people hate him. He's always in the mix. People hate him. You just hate him. But seriously, people I'm... just pick him, because if they don't pick him, then they have to hate him against him. <laughs> I mean... You, know, it's, you don't want to play against it, so they're like, oh, I have to pick it. Yeah. It's so damn so. good. This is the iron shield is ridiculous Radiant. amount of damage. I mean, sh I mean, short short of the time when it, <laughs> short of the time when you could stack the iron shells. My God, that was that was nuts. But uh, oh yeah, he does so much damage. And then you know when you get these hard like when you get heroes like tiny and stuff that just hit that they hit like a truck, and then suddenly there's an illusion of them working against you. It's just it's just GG there. Just a ridiculous amount of damage. And he's just so versatile. But Magnus being banned out as well. I mean, this is a hero that's being picked all the damn time. He's actually being assassin. Always been. What the hell? Is he that good? I don't even know. He's... I, I think he's annoying and unpredictable. It's the kind of thing that like you try and get into a fight and then suddenly everybody gets stunned because they just clip with AoE and stuff. It's it's just yeah. really, really frustrating. You said, you said earlier the fact his stun time is huge and of course, late game, he's still relevant because he just keeps spamming his um his mana burn. And anyway, watching... Yeah, like, shit out laning. <laughs> He's bad at laning, I mean, watching Mouse Sports play him, but they, they don't really lane him, they just send him to the jungle, say, go and sit in there, pull creep and stuff, and when people try and do stuff, come out and pop carapace and watch them look stupid while they're stunned themselves. Which, I mean, it works, it definitely works, and then towards the late game, just watch him, just, 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 uh, it's just mana burn, mana burn, mana burn, mana burn, mana burn. It's just suddenly, like, you got, like, Queen of Pain and stuff just getting slammed by it. There's not much they can do about it at all. So I, mean, I, I think it's a decent counter pick in times, and it's also a very frustrating and pretty good, pretty good hero to counter attack with. And then you've got the whole issue where you've picked something like a jungle. Like who was oh, who was it playing it earlier? I think it was the Fnatic game. It was one of the Fnatic versus Virtus Pro, but the Fnatic was just sitting in the jungle and just Chan just could not see us in there because he'd always have to worry about because he always have to worry about Nyx always just wandering in there and then taking a crack at him. It's, it's, it's a really big pain in the butt. But Dignitas, they open up with a Batrider pick there. And we also have Dirge banned out as well. Do you have any ideas what Fnatic might go for here with their double pick? No idea. Don't watch. It's probably Dota. Ah, they can't hear me. In. They can't hear us in game. I forgot. West. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, you okay. should be able to hear us now. Okay. I forgot because every time we restart, I've got okay. to hit the voice record again. I forgot the last time we did it. Fnatic's gonna pick CK in the first try, I think. CK? Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be Chaos Knight or the alternative, of course, Tiny and Spin. In fact, I mean, Chaos Knight. No, Knight. there's no alternative when no it comes to Fnatic and Empire. All they right. always try to get the CK in the first try. They don't oh. wait. Alright then, alright. The amount of change, though. They're gonna pick CK regardless. Era is a CK picker, he plays CK every game. Okay then. Okay, so this means... Like, even if they don't get West, they, they still pick CK. <laughs> right then. Well, Lone Druid being picked up then, uh, this probably means if they're going for, obviously, the CK, you reckon Arrow will be playing that, most likely means it's a Suicide Lone Druid. And a Suicide Hero means Trixie is more than likely being playing it. Keeper of Light, though, being picked up. Life Stealer as well, being selected by Dignitas. They, they can... Trixie can go mid with Lone Druid. They've done that against us, and they, he can go short lane... Off lane, whatever lane. Generally, it's short lane. I have never seen Trixie take the mid lane over Hanny, but I'll take your word for it. Obviously, if you played against it, then it's hard to argue. It was in the finals of four. Okay then. Yeah. All right. Then. Yeah. Well, we'll see what they go for. Uh, they play Lone Druid against Virtus Pro. They put it in the suicide lane, and a... yeah. it was awful. It, it yeah, was went, awful. it went badly. Yeah, it got it got smashed against Virtus Pro. Emerald it... face palm, and I face palm even harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. CK. Are they gonna CK? Are they really not gonna CK? Dinatel's right. gonna ban it. Alright then. Um, <coughs> I, mean, I would not be surprised if we saw CK, Chaos, uh, Chaos Knight, the Sven, and then possibly even Tiny getting banned out here. I mean, those are the three usual suspects with Wisp. I mean, the other choice, of course, I mean, we've, we've even seen stuff like just Templar Assassin going batshit crazy with Wisp, just basically giving her a bit of a boost, charging around, doing all sorts of trouble, but generally speaking, it's those melee strength carries, and 
Digna Task, well, they've got a wide open window here if they want to start getting rid of them. Maybe they're a little bit confused, but Enigma being picked up. I mean, they've got some push power here. They've got Enigma. They've got Lone Druid. Ten, they're going to have the minion eight, spam there if they want it. I mean, actually, I, just thinking, I, they could just... Seconds, here's, I'm just throwing ideas yeah. out here, but I mean, if they really wanted to, they could just start tethering the bear. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I've done that before. Yeah, I mean, that's oh, always what? a possibility. They could just start tethering the bear and saying, bear, go and, go and kill a tower. I mean, the same way... <clears throat> They just alack, like we see teams alack. Back when Invoker was more popular, just throw down the alacrity on the bear and let it go to town on the tower. Chen, though, the next ban here for Fnatic. Any predictions, though, on the further bans Fnatic? Because we kind of know where Dignitas are going with theirs. There we go, CK also banned. No idea. Uh... <laughs> no idea. Fair enough there. Okay, then, so we will have Naga Siren being banned out as well. Alright, then. Naga Siren being banned out as well. Not a that common a ban, but being picked off yet again tonight. The Dignitar's going to make sure they get rid of that. And I kind of get the feeling, like right now Dignitar's, if I'm looking at the lineup, that looks like they want some other kind of self support. Really depends where the Batrider's going to end up, whether or not he's going to be a, so a suicide solo, or if he wants the jungle. I mean, Batrider, of course, one of those flexible heroes, suicide solo, solo mid jungle. Doesn't matter where you stick him, he tends to do fairly well. Templar Assassin. Assassin? Why? I guess, well, I guess they can. Jungle to Batrider, but Fog doesn't play TA. He doesn't know how to play TA at all. <laughs> I think mean, he's still learning the hero. Seriously? Snake King just left the team. Well, right. yeah, Snake King was the designated TA player, and Fog hated that hero, so he didn't play it. Okay, well, I mean, maybe Fnatic Hero on autopilot. I mean, just remembering the fact that uh, they're just thinking, you know what, we ban we always banned Templar Assassin as Digitas before. Might as well keep banning it. Oh, okay. Well, um, the Lightsteed Arrow pick is, uh, I think, it was the counter to Undred. Because he has a lot of HP, so Life Stealer is pretty good against Lone But at the same time, he's, all, he's, he's awful against Lone if he gets rooted. Ah, no, 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 no. I've seen this combination before, actually. It's Templar Assassin and Life Stealer. Those two heroes together shred Lone Druid. And it's just basically the issue is, of course, Life Stealer he hitches a ride in Templar Assassin. This works really. Hitches a ride, they get on top of Lone Druid and just bam, the two of them are slamming him. And you hit him with the meld at the same time, of course. And it's just, like you said, Feast wrecks Lone Druid. And when you throw in the negative armor at the same time, it just does, even if they don't kill him straight away, it just does a ridiculous amount of burst damage against him. A couple of good hits in there from Lifestealer, and he starts getting torn to shreds. No, I've seen that before, and it was the Templar Assassin and Lifestealer. And just using using the um, the Blink Dagger off the Templar Assassin as initiation tools, it does actually work pretty damn good. But Luna, the next band there, the final band there for Dignitas, will be taking that out. And actually, that's a fairly similar lineup to what Fnatic ran in game number one against Virtus Pro was Luna and Lone Druid. A lot of push power between those two heroes. Of course, the passive there from Luna doing adding a lot of bonus damage. And then, of course, Lone Druid in the mix as well with his bear. Just gives him a lot of minion pushing power. But Fnatic now, they've finished up their bans with the Rubik. Which I suppose against the Enigma is not a bad choice to ban out. But here we go, Lena also being selected. Lena's not so a hero that we see. We don't see a lot of Lena. Any feelings why they might have picked her up? Mmm, Danatos likes to pick Lena, so that's probably the main reason. But, I mean, it's pretty good against Wisp. It's awful against Lone kind of. Because your uh, spells don't do enough damage. Like, the Lone has too much HP. But if you zap the Wisp, I mean, it's really useful. Usually the Wisp is just annoying as hell. He just runs in the fight and runs out, runs in, runs out. Because he's too fast. So you have to instantly burst him down. Five seconds remaining. Oh. Lena's good for it. Yeah, well, Laguna Blade definitely fits the bill there, but now pick number four for Fnatic. We'll see if they finally just... Uh, Beastmaster the next pick, and wow, they are really getting offensive here with this early push power. Of course, Beastmaster bringing that aura. Really, the attack speed is absolutely fantastic when it comes to that push. In fact, I'm just wondering if we'll see... I'm just wondering if we'll see a maxi aura earlier, if we just go for that one or two early points and then manage to, and then finish up with the pets and the wild axes. Depends where he's going with that one. Dignitas over their final pick here. They've got the support sorted out. They've got the Batrider. Now, this really depends whether they want Batrider to mid or to suicide as their final pick. Ten seconds remaining. But I think they'll be picking something, you know, to fill out the remaining spaces depending where they're going with that. Five seconds remaining. I don't think Universe plays Batrider, so that's a mid Batrider. Okay, then. So, Universe. I mean, Universe, what do you think he might be picking up for the sideline considering Darkseer? We've seen, seen him playing a lot of Darkseer, but it's not available this time. No idea. Windrunner? I mean, it's a solid pick all around. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a Windrunner. Of course, the extra spell. He just likes that hero. We'll see what they he go. really likes that hero. 
Well, they're running out of time. Well, actually, they've got plenty of time, actually. They've got 50 seconds of overtime still. But yeah, I mean, Windrunner would fit in nicely. Of course, it gives that a nice, good long... Uh, it gives that nice long-range stun as well. We've seen... Actually, I think it was game number one. It was a game... Yeah, it was game number one, actually. Uh, Virtus Pro, they completely... They got off some brilliant shackles, actually, using Lone Druid's Bear against uh, against him and the other heroes. In fact, just using it as a marker. Okay. So, that sounds pretty sick. It, yeah, it, it really... It brought them back. In the, some of those shackles in the mid-game... Virtus Pro ended up losing it. was game number one. Virtus Pro ended up losing that, but some of those shackles really set up a lot of good mid fights and mid game fights for Virtus Pro. But Windrunner will be picked up. You did call it right, so we'll probably see Universe on that most likely, seeing as the Batrider is probably going to be taking that Five mid lane. The question is, who is he going to be up against? Now, the final tiny. pick for Fnatic could be a Tiny. I mean, it could be a Sven. Could be, could be just about anything at this point in time, and it will be a Morphling. Um, what's Morphling? Huh. I honestly don't know if it'll be Wisp working. I mean, like I said, it could just be working with the bear and the Morphling. I mean, they might be going for Lone Druid, Enigma, and Beastmaster and Wisp, just putting a lot of pressure and just Morphling to sit in the corner and farm. Maybe that's the game plan here. Oh, yes. Maybe, maybe if uh, Morphling's dying in a team fight, he replicates someone, and then the Wisp TPs the replicate back home, and, it, and Morph TPs back into it. Like, I don't know, what the fuck is this combo? Well, you know what? Curveball straight away then. Fnatic just said. Everyone's scared of it because it's not just Fnatic, right? I mean, I think Empire expected Dinatos to pick Morphling after it was, so it's been used quite a bit, I would think. We'll see what they go for then. But it will be Era playing the Morphling. No surprises there, of course. He's a designated uh, carry player. Hanny will be playing the Beastmaster. Enigma, probably. There we go. Fly going to be playing that, and which leaves Trixie for the Lone Druid. And the question is whether or not he will solo mid or take that suicide lane. I mean, they've got some options there. Obviously, Beastmaster is a pretty decent suicide solo player. Suicide hero, rather. But let me call out the players here. They've got Tides of Time playing Keeper Light, Fogged playing the Windrunner, Universe playing Batrider, oh, wait, oh, yeah. A2000 playing the Lifestealer, and way too sexy on Lena. Now, for the dire side, for Fnatic, we do have Fly playing the Nemo, No Tail and Wisp, Trixie playing Lone Druid, Error, Morphling, Hanny on that Beastmaster. So, we'll get rolling then. We'll see where they're going to move out to in just a moment. Beastmaster, that looks like a mid Beastmaster. He's gone for an eco run, an eco build there with his starting items. Oh no, it's offlane Trixie, Lone Druid. This uh, happens somewhat frequently. I I really don't like the offlane Lone Druid. I think I think they're just better heroes for it. I like the offlane Lone Druid. <laughs> I just don't like Trixie on offlane Lone Druid. <laughs> All, I right me. All right then. All right then. I've only seen it once. So. He, he's probably learned. He, he learns really fast. Fnatic learns really fast. Actually, I'll, I'll rephrase that. I don't like offlane Lone Druid unless it's Bulldog playing it. And then it's pretty funny. Hey, there we go. I yeah. completely agree. Except when he's speeding with it. Because everybody's trying yeah. to kill him. No he sometimes. Uh oh, no tell. There's the open wounds there. Can we get a stun down? Lena trying to get in on close there. Oh, tether. There we go. <laughs> Dodges everything there. Illuminate tried to get on mark there. And everything except one auto attack there from Tides of Time. And they're just going to slip away into the trees and get out of oh. trouble. It's one on one between Windrunner and Lone Druid. Ooh, okay, um, that's actually going to give Trixie a pretty decent start then. Winner, of course, has the decent CS, decent harass, but definitely a lot better off than what it could be. Meanwhile, though, it looks like it's going to be offensive trial and up top with the Lifestealer. They were at the jungle, too. Ooh, this is not going to be a whole lot of fun for them at all, is it? Fnatic are going to struggle somewhat with this top lane. I don't know, Morphling is a range hero, so if he watches out for the blast... He, he might be able to see us. The thing is though, like he, he morphed a lot of his strength over to agility, so each blast freaking hurts. Yeah, I mean, of course he might just change it back and use Wiz to fix up his mana issues. Yep. But Hanny in the mid here, now he's opened up with the Axis. No, actually, no, Windrunner's in mid. Who is he? So, who's 1v1? Okay, it's 1v1 with Batrider and Lone Druid. Oh, Fox Windrunner. Oh, that makes sense. She's mid, oh. yeah. And it looks like Universe will be doing a sideline Batrider. All right then. So it looks like he's been practicing. Or That's he's... really good against Andre. Yeah. The strong line. That is not. Because uh, when fun. you napalm, it hits the bear and the hero. So when you try to control each, it's, it makes it way harder. Even like Emerald can't do it. Look at that! Uh, look at that damage. Though. That's just ridiculous. The bat rider's tearing him apart. We've got another stack there. That's six charges right now. Bear does not have a no, does not have a magic wand either just yet. Although now bat rider gonna cop a bit of harassment in return. Dived a little bit too far there against the creep wave. That wasn't good for a universe. 
No, he um, went too deep. You, you know, Universe lost too much lost experience, and Trixie didn't lose any experience. Because uh, Universe's Creep Wave was stronger, so it, it was killing the Scourge Creep Wave, and he wasn't there for the experience, whereas Trixie didn't lose anything. Uh, Windrunner picking up the first blood there on the Beastmaster. Meanwhile, it looks like they're going into the jungle, just trying to pick off this easy can- Oh, pick off. There we go. They finally find it, using that tether there to knock down the trees. Unfortunately, as soon as they left Beastmaster alone, Beastmaster gets wrecked there. Now this top line looks like uh, Morphling is definitely struggling to get close here to get the CS in. O2000 on the other hand, free farming as much as he likes. And in fact, getting aggressive here. And like you said, that morphing to from strength to agility may cost error a bit there. Error now going to be forced to waveform here, I think. There we go. Has to duck out there as Lena moves up to threaten him with a light strike array. Meanwhile, though, in the jungle, Wiss also getting harassed back. He's going to tear the back. He's actually going to possibly try and make a run at him now. Keep the light trying to back off here. I think he's going to throw on a Lumen. Oh, chops his way through. Trees there. Going to run back towards Lena. Lena going to move in. No, decides not to stun. He's looking for it. Throws it out. Only going to hit Arrow, though. Was looking for the Wisp instead. It looks like Trixie going to jack that creep wave there as well. May end up a great... Actually, no. Universe is going to have to back off here. He's actually taking a lot of harassment. Universe auto mana. That's pretty huge. I think he might be... Sh I, maybe a bottle's gonna come out in a second? I mean, the Kuru is... Well, it's still a walking Kuru, and Fly's bottle coin. I mean, they should have a flying Kuru in a second. Lena's almost got the money for it. I assume she's gonna handle it. That'll keep the light's gonna do it in a second. One of them. There we go, it's already been... There we go, it gets upgraded now. There is a bottle being shipped back. I assume that's gonna belong to Windrunner at the moment. said Hanny has managed to find himself a regeneration and of course it's going to benefit him a lot. Spamming the wild axes is going to help him stay on top of his CS. Still error though, struggling to get that CS in at the moment. Question is, can he catch up in the mid game? Of course, Morphling, I mean, Morphling can catch up if you start just basically wave spam creeper. Make sure you get all of them. It's just start wave spamming those creeper. We've seen the Chinese do it. It is definitely very effective a way to catch up there on the CS, but of course it does push the creep wave a little bit at the same time. Mm. Well, think mm. I don't know. I think the lanes are going okay top for Fnatic because uh, Enigma is farming yeah, decent yeah, well. Yeah, but look, he's almost level 5. It's not even four, 4 minutes yet. And like you said, this, this was something time. unusual. It was something unusual the other match where Enigma was definitely behind. I don't know if it's not whether or not he messed yeah. up some pulls or not or if he just got harassed in there. I don't think he got well, killed. He, Fnatic, he, he's behind too because he got warded, but he's still like almost like doing it right. Triple I mean, fire. not doing it right, but it's almost at the same timing. Indeed. Meanwhile, bottom line though, Lone Druid 15 and 4. Batroad is actually falling behind here. Maybe Universe not playing this as well as he could. Universe currently sitting on 11 3, and it seems like Lone Druid is actually being given room to actually knock in these last hits here, although he's a little bit behind goals. Oh, the regular standard about 50. He wants about 25 CS at about 5 minute mark or so to be on track well, for what it needs to be. He's level 5 now, so it's going to get worse for Universe. This is true, of course. Once that bear starts having the ability to proc roots, things really can yeah. start to get messy. This is going to get really messy for Universe under their tower, maybe. Yeah, he's okay. going to have to pop his Firefly, because Trix is going to charge at him. Like, right now, he's going to charge at him, I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. You're right. There he is. He's going to send that bear in, although the sticky napalm now being spread about. Although, it actually looks like he's not going to go in that deep. He's just going to jack the creep wave and try and just put pressure on that tower. Meanwhile... There's a bit of counter warding being done there by Dintas, trying to put some pressure on Error. Error up to 7 1 at the moment. And we see Lifesteal. Lifesteal, of course, getting as much free farm as like 29 and 11 at the moment. But I am a little bit worried just because I feel that uh, they're not possibly not going to have the lockdown that they want to deal with Error. They're pretty much going to be reliant on the last suit to try and pin him down towards this later game part. And once he gets towards it, like, he starts getting difficult to kill, I don't know if they can pin him down in these fights. Nice attempt there to try and pick up Error. Error though, anticipating and dodging away into the trees. There. It looks like Enigma is now moving out. Throws down the Malphus there. Does get the kill. Picks off the Keeper of the Light. They're still going to give chases. Now we see the Eyeliner's now going to harass. Oh, 2000. 2000. Chain his mind here. Maybe the bear can run him down. Although he does. Oh no, he's got face boots. No way they're going to catch him. A2000 oh, should be Lone just fine. Lone drew a TP. A little bit what weird. What the fuck is going on? Why would he do that? It's Trixie. Uh, that was, that's, that's huge. Universe is getting owned. I, I guess he thought maybe he could pick up a kill here if they were going to overcommit, but they really didn't. They just backed out. I mean, they lost one and then they backed out. And like you said, this has wasted a lot of time. In fact, he's going to walk all the way back to that bottom lane. And this gives Trixie basically the catch up, hit his level 6, 
And yeah, he's gonna like you said, he was behind and now he's gonna be on par with Lone Druid. He's about to hit level six, he's gonna have a lasso now, and of course he can try and basically pick him off with Firefly and the sticky napalm. He's gonna be slightly ahead of Lone Druid, because Lone Druid had to buy a TP scroll, but Yeah. He's, he's, like Lone Druid should have been owning this lane harder after that's after what happened early game. Beastmaster, they're going to pop the regen rune to stay in the lane there. Life stealer though, we'll see what he goes for first, whether or not he tries to open up with a Midas, or if he changes his mind and just goes straight for an armlet. And while the bed's going to lay down some harassment there on uh, Trixie, uh, rather on Universe. Universe going to pretty much just sit there and take it. Has also picked up the Orb of Venom for his bear, and a pair of boots for both hero, uh, for both units there. And he's got his bottle, Winter has got his bottle as well. What did, actually, what did Batrider go with for his cash? He did go for boots and bottle. I think that works in the side lane. Yeah, yeah, he needed the mana. Yeah, that works out. And like you said, yeah, he ran out of mana fairly early on, just a little bit too much. The sticky napalm spam. Keep well, that sucks. Fog. Fog just died, and he was he was owning like mid hard, and then he, now he just, he got picked off. Uh, I think he just got a little bit too aggressive, got picked off by the roar and the wild axes. Yeah, but I mean, he he got a he got a free kill on Hanny earlier in the game, and he was winning CS wise by uh, double almost. So. Radiant that was pretty big deal, giving up that kill. Counter warding meeting down there in the jungle. Tether away though. Wisp was looking like he was in danger for a moment. Wisp also going to bottle up there. I'm just wondering if that bottle belongs to Wisp or if it belongs to uh, Error, in fact. And that's always a possibility. Oh, he cancels his black hole. Wait, where was this? Bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we've got some trouble there. It looks like Fly in a bit of trouble as it looks like they're going to try and run him down. Oh, Fly actually not going to be able to get away here. Three charges to Napalm. Lena goes in. Yeah, no, misses with the Dragon Slave. Malefest, but they will finish off there with a couple he, he, he of auto attacks. He got a double black claw. He cancelled it. Uh, that was could, a free kill on Batrider. Could he see it? I mean, I didn't catch it. Was, were they in the yeah, fault? Yeah, he, in, he used it and instantly cancelled it. He hit oh, it. Oh, that, that, that burns. That, uh... That definitely burns. Keep, uh, we, I suppose we've got to keep in mind, Fnatic are playing on the US East server, so... If he uh, was mashing, if he was going for a cancel before he actually cast it, he might have messed up. not hit mid B, why? Do you see that? I, I, that was so bullshit. Shackle, Shackle, I've given up trying to explain. It just, it does what it wants. That's pretty much it. Shackle does whatever the hell it feels like, and nothing it does makes any goddamn sense. I'd, I'd be literally standing against trees, like you get hit like a 45 degree angle, and just goes, yo, yo, I'm gonna latch that tree. Screw you. You're getting ganked here. You're not getting away. This makes no goddamn sense at all. You see Batrider though, has his tranquil boots as well. Just gonna do a little bit of jungling. Meanwhile, top lane. Eros. Yeah, 22 and 3. Eros definitely way, way behind you. Feel that Eric can actually catch up at this point, or he's going to be playing. Like, do you think he can actually catch it where Life Stealer is, or if it's going to be a lot of trouble for them going to the late game? It's, it's looking pretty pro problematic for Fnatic. I think one of the hopes they had was uh, Enigma, and he was doing pretty well. But right now he's only level on. seven. He should be level ten. <laughs> at the big point here, Beastmaster has actually opened up with uh, Boots of Travel. And this actually picked up a kill on Lena just there because they had the bear chase down Lena, and basically Beastmaster spent the entire time just teleporting to him on the bear, while he basically ran the bear in. Yeah, it's what uh, EG does. Watch bottom first. Yeah, there we go. Looks like Universe gonna try and sneak in the deny here. The public lift, there's the last suit there on the Lone Druid. Still trying to pick off the tower with the bear. Lone Druid trying to get clear. Trixie gonna get the kill there on the tower, prevent the deny. Will get picked off in the meantime, but... You know what, I think that's probably worth it for his team overall. As it looks like Whisk got killed, got taken out up in the top lane. Dignitas managing to equalize that there. With a couple of hero kills, Wisp. Unfortunately, pretty much all he's got to his name is a ward there and a bottle. Lifesteal, on the other hand, saving up. He's gone for 2.2. He's got 2.2k in the bank. Do you think, well, if he was going for a minus, he would have bought it by now. So uh, like he if he's going for the FNC, then he's going to get drums. If you know who that guy is. No, what's he doing? Drums is. I mean, FNC is. Uh, I think it's the Emerald Bulldog of Nyax, basically. Okay. So he, he plays that hero only. And uh, that guy goes face boots into, into drums, into hmm. I forget. All right, then we'll, we'll see if he does that. But no one ever does that. Only, only he does that. All right, well, we'll see what he's got in mind. Then Morphling's gone for his Ring of Aquila, which is a cheap item to try and keep him in the game there. 
Lone Druid, how much Lone Druid's tricks sitting on 1100? Has bought his Tranquil Boots there, of course, is really useful there. You know, No Tail just going to be doing a little bit of scouting there, well, uphill vision there, so he can get his counter warding done. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Lena just hit level 6. Okay, this is where things get messy, of course. Laguna Blade, definitely quite painful indeed. Just going to do a little bit of zapping, probably clean up. For the Morphling, uh, for oh, sure. Oh, oh, oh no. Dragon changed, Slave and Laguna changed, Blade. Uh, yeah, you changed this. Uh, everything to strength. I mean, to agility. So. Oh, if you oh. hit that dragon slave, the morphling was dead. Close, but no cigar there. It looks like they're gonna come in there. For, oh, wish Blast? Us. Blast and Lagua, that's all they need. Come on. Yeah, come on, pretty both. much. It's not gonna happen oh, now, though. No, no, he changed, he changed. Ooh, uh, nice. some back to strength. He's also been healed up by Wisp. Wisp bottling him up there. There we go. Open wars. Here we go. Lena gonna go in the Laguna play. Drops the Light Striker. He decides oh. not to commit too much health there. And already morphing strength as well. See the Illuminate come through. Doesn't manage to connect there. And they will manage to walk away. Morphling probably breathing a sigh of relief there. As it looks like. Uh oh. Hasted Beastmaster. Can you give chase here? Can he find someone to pick off? Whoa, I don't think no he'll. Way. Okay. No, he's gonna dive the tower. Decide. Nope. Change the mind. No don't screw it. Keep in mind, of course, Night Vision doesn't have the best of vision. They can't really see exactly how much trouble's waiting for him behind that tower. Bottom tier tower has been knocked out. Tier 1 tower has been knocked out by Lone Druid. Yeah. It was knocked down a while ago. Like, he, he knocked it down when he was dying. Like, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember that. Hey, I managed to prevent the deny. Not, not a bad option there at all. Batrider now decided to go to bottom lane to try and stop Lone Druid from just free farming and pushing by himself there. 1500 gold. Oh. Alright, 80,000. Oh my god. He's, he should be fine, hitting that rage, he's going to get away there. We're going to have Lena also teleport back to top to back him up. Purple cancel support actually. Batrider going to stay in the jungle there and continue farming. I'm so surprised he's in black hole. Huh? He tried hitting the stun, but then AOI just like, okay, it's going to rage and run. That works out there. Maybe he's just planning to save that black hole. I mean, they might be planning to get a push happening on this tower in a minute. Especially since he's picked up some iron this... ones now. It's really hard and difficult to plan a push against the Kato. Uh, that is definitely true. Now we've got Beastmaster coming in there. So it looks like they should be able to... Oh, no. Infest inside the Hawk. As he realized... Uh, uh, he's uh, that uh, that he's was fucked. not... <laughs> you know, there's someone another Hawk. There's someone another Hawk. There we dead. go. <laughs> I, I don't know uh, about the choice to get inside the Hawk. That was uh, questionable indeed. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be the tower. Keeper of Light has no TP scroll. Tower. He's going to die bottom, I think. Yeah, it looks, I mean, Beastmaster, if he wanted to, he's... Oh, no, he doesn't have the teleport available, so... It depends whether or not... If he procs a route, that Keeper of Light is probably most likely oh, shit, dead. Oh, yeah, he should proc. Come on. No, no. I hate that. Those routes are bollocks. Shouldn't proc them ever. Meanwhile, though, yeah, there we go. Push on the top lane. I mean, this is pretty much damage you do, damage you don't. He's got to choose. Do I defend bottom or do I defend top? Well, he has all TV scores, so he, he can't make a choice. Well, there you go. <laughs> he's going to be defending bottom. Now, Nakes is going to teleport back to top here. To make a terrible decision with that uh, infestation choice. That yeah, fly just going to try and back up here. Still got the black hole up if he wants to try and use it. And Beastmaster. Beastmaster can teleport in. The die going to get. Actually, wow, okay. Uh, bottom, bottom, bottom. I thought they were going to get he's a deny in there. Yeah, there we go. Beastmaster going to teleport. No, he's not going to get away there. Lone Druid down some trouble as he's going to try and back out. Life Striker ain't going to miss though. But I don't think there's any way he's getting out of this. No, not a chance. Sticky Napalm's the body box. We'll finish with the Lone Druid. Oh my god, Universe is so farmed all of a sudden. He's so farmed. He's got a Blink Dagger at 15 minutes in. That's going to cause some problems here. He's going to be able to pick off... He's going to be able to pick off that Morphling quickly as well as, of course, grab the Lone Druid, drag him out of position as well. And Lifesteal actually went straight for an armlet. So to not to do the uh, weird build that you were talking about with drums. It's in your armlet. Let me get that. Yeah, that's the normal build. Yeah. But a lot of people don't go with phase boots, so... <laughs> when I see the phase boots, I always, I always think of the... That's stupid build. <laughs> Fair enough there. The left still at the moment. He's picked up the he's got the face boots, got the armlets. It makes it, he hits pretty damn hard. You can see why he wants to do it. Of course, mobility in the fight's the other big reason as well. Now blink in the middle. Batrider doesn't quite fight. Not getting close enough to get a target there. Beastmaster <laughs> hanging back. Meanwhile though, top lane. No, nothing. So they were gunning Fog for something. Is so far. <laughs> oh, more star fours gets off a good shackle. Follow up coming in. No, not really. Fog now trying to back off there. There's the Malifus. The Lasso comes in. Great initiation there. Counter initiation rather. Do we see a black hole? Black hole there on A2000, but they'll finish him off there with a power shot. Infesting. Gets some health there. Shackle doesn't latch. 
Only slowing down Morphling by a half a second. Now Swain forming away. He's managed to try and get clear here. A four star forward from Fog. Just going to do a bit of harassment there. Aaron now take your lives. There we go. There's another. Oh, no. Going to teleport out. And will there be some backup here? I mean, Beastmaster. No, he can't show up to the party yet. Hasn't really got the mana for it. Plus, teleports on cooldown. Although, he's going to find himself a haste room. Maybe he can get there in time. And there we go. They will show up together. There's also Lone Druid porting in to support them. Trying to make sure neither hero gets picked off there. We see Batrider has also finished up his Tranquil Boots as well. Beastmaster. What do you think Beastmaster will go for next? Uh, fuck. Yeah, I suppose Necromnikon does hit pretty damn hard. And of course it will help out. If, if they're planning to do the four-man push while Morphling farms, that will also help them out quite a bit. See Morphling yeah. though. I mean, Morphling needs a lot of time to catch up on his farm. Bring up the gold per minute here. If I remember which button it is. Here we go, 246 gold per minute versus I, a good That windrunner, oh my god. Yeah, he's got a lot of cash there. Now he's the shackle there, gonna sign a Hanny. We see that last suit still 10 seconds away. The tether comes in, actually, don't know. Okay, tether ends, oddly enough. The haste in there on Beastmaster being used to get him out of trouble. Sh oh, power shot misses. Couple of auto attacks, so we'll do the job. Raw gets thrown down on Fog there, but however, there's 3v1. Not good odds. There's the last suit. Bleak Ford last suit. Laguna Blade as well, somewhat unnecessary. Still picks up the kill there. Universe is going to take that kill. And it looks like they're just going to put some pressure there on the tier 2. Now, Wisp can jump in if he wants to. Does have his ult up if necessary. Doesn't really have anybody oh, to bring no, in. Oh, Fnatic doing the stupid 50 with the travel build. The what? The boot the travel everyone build. Uh, who's, who's got the other one? Era. Oh. They do this. Oh. Uh, I've never seen this. this. Is actually well, I suppose it's not because he called it stupid. But what's the it's idea really here? Awful. What's what's the what's the game plan here for someone who hasn't seen it? Uh, they all TP into a hawk and they hope it works. Oh, I mean, it's it, 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 it's a global strat. You TP into the hawk and then the wisp brings the silver bear or something. And all of a sudden, butt sex. Surprise butt sex. Yeah, it seems very uh. I put this diplomat pubby pub build. It seems like you yeah. you mostly rely on catching someone who does either doesn't expect it or understand it, or someone who's just not coordinated to respond to a threat. I should say Beastmaster's gonna be doing a little bit of stacking and farming as well. So uh, yeah, well, he went drums. I, I I don't see this really managing to beat the lifestyle at this point. No, we'll we'll see. Lifestyle, by the way, yeah, like you said, has picked up. Has picked up a brace, it could be doing the drums indeed. Definitely a possibility. Who else? Beast this is what I mean when I said Fanatic's playstyle is similar to ours. <laughs> what, does it make any sense or? No, they're stacking. Oh, right. I don't know if you got, I don't know if you guys can claim stacking, to be honest. We can. Meanwhile, the top player is the wall go down on Tina. Lena, though, going to get picked off there in the middle of the fight. It looks like she's they're going to give Chase here to keep it light. Keep it light, getting boxed in here. Not a lot he could do. It looks like Era should be able to pick up this kill. Illuminate, though, doesn't quite clean him up. Era will manage to escape. They're just getting the kill there with his adaptive strike. Meanwhile, Hanny's trying to back off there. Shackle shot doesn't latch the ball, not managing to give away that kill there. Hanny, though, still trying to get clear. Sticky napalm, of course, always annoying. Now, take 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 me back. We'll go, we'll go back to the stacking comment. How how could you claim stacking? How, how do you justify claiming stacking as as a uh, sort of a, a no tide hunter thing? Uh, I don't know how we can explain. It. I think even other pro teams would agree that we can claim it. Okay. It's just uh like when you have a plan. Not many teams have like a plan to stack unless they have like a dragon there or something, but. The way we did it is that it doesn't matter what heroes we have. If we think it's efficient to do it, then we'll do it. So, and other teams started doing that. Like right. before in the past, the only times people started stacking agents like crazy is that they, like, had a game plan, like both Dragon or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen a lot of beast bosses just go screw it and stack. Oh yeah, that's well, that too. I mean, like, but yeah, it, it's in the plan. Okay. All right. I get it. So you're saying it's just sort of spontaneous, like Beastmaster walks past people and says, you know, what, I'm gonna stack that and come back and kill it later. Well, sometimes, like, because sometimes it's awful to stack, because then the opponent steals it. I suppose this lineup, they don't really have something that can steal it that efficiently. Meanwhile, though, 80,000 is going to take that top tower there. 
easily enough. No defense is being mustered to try and save it. Tier 1 in mid, though, is being threatened, though, by Fnatic. They should be able to take this out and then head top to defend if necessary. Beast mode. Oh, they're pushing because they, they realize Fnatic's weak, because all they have is beast, or boost travels. So they're pushing S5. Also, they don't want to get picked off. It's true, I mean, it's sad, though. Can they give it? Ah, uh, yeah, they should be able to push this in time and get back. Although, no tail possibly being a little bit vulnerable here. Since Batrider can jump on him and just drag him back. In fact, no tail in a lot of trouble. There we go. Not going to need to firefly. They're just going to let Fnatic. They're just going to let him get picked off there by the nukes and auto attack there from A2000. He's hitting pretty hard. They're looking good for our Fnatic though. They have auras and stuff, so they push really freaking fast. I mean, they Fnatic just lost a tier one and a tier two, but at the same time, they just took a tier one and tier two. So I mean, even Stevens there. Yeah, well, they lost the one kill, but at the same time, the lone drip was farming. And he's gonna have his radiance. He has his radiance. 21 minutes. I don't really know why Wisp went up there by himself. I wasn't really a whole lot he's gonna do, but that's it. Open wounds on Hanny. Light strike away, catching two heroes plus the bear. Hanny into trouble, shackled down them. And we go, there we get a three man. Black hole there, h 2000 caught up, but there's no follow up there, unfortunately. No follow up being dealt. And they will just abandon that. Batrider goes down, but they lose Beastmaster as well as the Enigma in the middle of that fight. Oh, here comes the Radiance, though. This might not look good for Hinatos. They might have to give up the Radiance. I mean, the uh, Roshan. See what they have in plan. Oh, no, he, 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 no, he buys back, so he, he wants to protect the Roshan. I'm just going to throw out the Illuminate there, though. It looks like Fnatic aren't too interested in the Roshan at the moment. I don't see a Flame Break as well as the Lightstrike. Either. Eric gets caught out, and that takes a lot of damage. Shackle shot on the board. Not really going to do a whole lot. H2000 trying to find an angle here for himself to get in. This is, one of, this is why I really like the whole comboing him with the Temple of It just gives him a lot of mobility. The ability to get into a fight pretty much instantaneously. In this case, you sort of see he's just sort of wandering around in the river. Not really AO. He wants to get close and hit somebody, but he just cannot get there. He doesn't want to wander through that sort of funnel. This Runner is actually going to have a 25 minute sheep stick. Oh, wow. I thought I had a 24 minute sheep stick. Wolf Treads and Wolf Phase Boots and Force Death. Holy shit, this guy's so far. But the sheep isn't gonna... It's gonna help a lot against Marfling, it's not gonna do much against uh... Against the Scylla. That's okay. I mean, that's it, even just having another sun around, or rather disable around that can cancel black holes is always useful. That's it, okay. Enigma does have a blink dagger now, so if they aren't careful, they of course he can pick up a lot of heroes. All of a sudden, we've seen black holes. It's, if you get a good black hole, it can really end a fight there. And not in that fight. I mean, it was a good black hole, just no follow up in that last fight, sadly enough. Maybe if they had the radiance, it would have been a different deal. Well, they, they got initiated on. They got a double shackled and a lot of other stuff, so. You know, it wasn't a good fight by Fnatic. I don't know why they took the fight when the radiance was coming in 10 seconds. He's got a little bit too eager. Maybe, they, maybe, maybe this is miscommunication. There's somebody thought, yeah, I have a Bottom. radiance. Bottom. Looks like they are going to grab Trixie, they're dragging him up the high ground, they tear the forward zone from Wiss. Oh. Wiss almost getting taken out, but uh, he tried to go for the save. Yeah, I think he's going to die. Actually, if he summons a hawk and sends it to him, then he can tether the hawk. Uh, so they missed the time that horribly, but the shackle shot will do the job. Mistimed a lot of those dukes, doesn't matter though, they will manage to push, they will manage to pick off the kill regardless, picking up two kills. And yes, unfortunately, Andrew getting caught out yet again. The blink right now from the Batrider is really causing all sorts of hell for them. As Batrider is getting fairly close to finishing off a four staff as well. Oh, they're all TP top, so if they put the travel TP bottom lane right now, they might be able to surprise them. Come on, use your boots to travel strategy. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Uh, it's not like he's battering anyways. It looks like Dintas are backing off regardless. Just going to dock into the jungle attack. and continue farming. And how many of them have boots to travel at the moment? We got. Well, the Wisp and some other heroes. That's two more, right? So it's like four already. So here, Raw go down in the river there. Beastmaster trying to get clear there. Pick off Lena, though. There's an adapter strike to finish her. That's it. Handy now into trouble. Being run down there by. Life stealers, the blinding light gonna try and drive him back there. There's a Malthus as well. Shackle shot on the illusion. Power shot as well. Not gonna do a whole lot either. As you see the last two there, blink in four star away. Fnatic gets sniped, uh, gets sniped again. They lose their enigma. Oh, Fly tried Fly tried doing something cute, which is why he died. 
he um he tried using the demonic conversion on the crit to get rid of the the Nax uh, ulti, but then he ended up paying for his life doing that. I mean, you can't really mess with Nax at the moment. Of course, look at that. He's got a Desolator and an Armlet. He is really, really farmed. Although that's the only person more farmed would, of course, be Fog Terror. He's got his Hex using it there on Era. He's just going to oh run God. out of there. There's not much he can do about that. He's just so, so farmed. There we go. Now, H2000 is going to try and take an Era. Of course, wow. There we go. He just sway forms away, unfortunately, straight into fire. He's seen Illuminate. He dodged it. He, that was on purpose. Oh yeah, he dodged, he dodged I mean, he dodged shackle. a shackle, but I mean, he just waveformed the three people, got the slam by a bunch of nukes, which is the downside of that. Waveformed I mean, he could have waveformed away from the body if he wanted to, but that said, looks like Black Hole gonna catch Lena as well as Nate's Flame Break gonna cancel though, knocks him into the Firefly, gonna burn it down, Light Soul, Laguna Blade, they're gonna finish off Enigma as well as they're also gonna lose the Morphling as well. Morphling gonna buy back down, here he the fight, uh, here Lasso being thrown down there, who's it managed to grab onto, it's managed to pick up the Beastmaster, Beastmaster on a kick, Fog picks up yet another kill, taking out the Wisp. And now it looks like Hanny also the next one to fall. They will pick up Hanny very easily. Kara just going... back and TP'd into the bear. Yeah, this is just going from uh, uh I wanna say it. This is not going too well for Fnatic. It looks like Morphling's still trying to build up a Lincoln Spear at the moment. They're they're weak, like it's twenty some minutes. Like sure he has a bit of travel, but it doesn't help you fight. This the Beastmaster basically has drums, right? For in, in terms of team fighting. Like, yeah. They move a little bit faster, but I mean, that's really it. Who would you put it like that? Yeah, they are missing a lot of stuff. It's going to be like nearly 30 minutes in, and all Arrow's going to have is boots travel and maybe, maybe a Lincoln's if he's lucky. The Lincoln doesn't even do much in team fight either. Well, it's, yeah, it's a bit of item. It's a farm item. Fly though, of course. What? That's it. They, I mean, they've got the, they've got the disables here. They've got the black hole. They just don't have the follow up to really make it work. They've got the raw. They've got the black hole. They just don't have that huge D uh, DPS to work with it. At least in the tool, Lauren Druid can really start cranking out some damage. He does have the radiance, I suppose, which is definitely helpful, but it's only so much it does. See, and especially when you see someone like Lysler right now, he's working on a Daedalus. He's got the Crystallis already. We go, they're just going to push and pressure mid right now. Trixie had a 20 minute radius, now it's 29 minutes and he farmed 1,700 gold. So that's like 250 gold per minute in the last like 8 minutes. It's, yeah. Could have been a little bit better there, but it looks like, uh oh. Universe looking for a potential gank. Doesn't find anything though. It looks like Fnatic have backed. Oh, well, does find something. Finds the Beastmaster. Of course, the Flying Vision is exactly what he needs there. And then we'll get a nice, easy pick off on the Beastmaster. Lena also blinking and immediately to follow up. And I think Fly, uh, Way Too Sexy, is doing a Mask of Madness build. Unless that's supposed to be getting turned into a Vladimir's offering. I mean, that's, that's it. I've seen Way Too Sexy. I mean, Fly's the other one I've seen do really. Weird builds with his Lena. They, they go for sort of a semi carry Lena. In fact, Fly I've seen build actually build a monkey king bar on his Lena inverse. Just because, you know what? Why not? He's, he's been playing little support leader all game, fine war, then suddenly buys a monkey king bar because because he can. Uh, universe? Not universe, um, Fly. Fly's done it. No, 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 no. Like uh, universe. Yeah. Yeah, Lutvers running uh, running after the bear, getting burned down a bit by... Oh uh, yeah, he's going to have to back off that bear, just chasing him around. If he got one root, he's dead. This is not so unlucky by Trixie. He hit him like 10 times and he got no root. See, yeah, Trixie's going to resummon that 4 star sport. There we go, Trixie now in some trouble, although he has not a fair odds at all. 5v1, not much you can do about that. Just gets boxed in and ripped apart. Meanwhile though, mid racks gets dropped down as well. It's like Fnatic are really starting to fold here. I mean, at this point in time, it was, I mean, it was even pretty much the entire game. Where do you think it really went wrong? At 22 minute mark, it seems like Fnatic have just sort of fallen apart at that point in time. Well, Dignitas, like, realized that Fnatic is weak. So they kept taking fights. But Fnatic was actually strong at 20 minutes, just because they got the Radiance. But Fnatic ran into the Roche pit without the Radiance, when the Radiance was coming, so... I think that was the big turn point. 
We got Lino picks up yet another kill on the bottom lane there. Beastmaster's getting a little bit too aggressive, coming down the bottom lane, getting picked off fairly easy. Batrider also has his own boots to travel now as well. So you know what, I'm going to get one of those as well. Morphling, yeah. What else we got over here? Wisp, of course. Enigma, 1600 gold in the bank. We'll see what he goes for after that. He's been sitting on money for a little while now. more fleeing 1200 gold the feeling he's probably just going to try and get that shotgun up and running if he possibly can definitely not he's going to go shotgun I don't know there's we'll no way he's getting shotgun at 32 minutes I, I've said that before that I suddenly see the f I've, I've said that before that sometimes it just happens anyway but we'll see we'll he see we see actually what's he picked up there? It looks like Life's still getting closer to his Daedalus has picked up a demon says power shot gonna go through there, not gonna manage to hit him there. A four star forwards as well, but unfortunately four stars into the tether gets stunned. Batrider will have to back off there. Batrider has also picked up a plate mail. I get the feeling we're gonna be seeing a Shiva's belly soon on top of this. Fog's gonna have his MKB. He hurts. <laughs> Oh wow. Dear. Oh. <laughs> he's oh, with his he ultimate. has the highest GPM. He's harder than that. Yeah, oh, he, he's, he's had a high golf a minute the entire game, pretty much. And next, I mean, this is definitely unfortunate for Nanny. Wow. He, with his ultimate as well, that's going to proc so many Monkey King by hits. It's going to drive him nuts. Meanwhile, though, Trix, he's still desperately trying uh, to find No, no, no. The ulti doesn't work that way. It, it, it reduces the chances of MKB. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, my bad then. My bad. Well, though, he's here to pick off a mid. They're going to try and bring down Arrow. There we go. Channels out there. They're going to pick him off with a Laguna Blade. I was about to say, he's about to waveform out there. Not going to happen, though. Fnatic, Fly, trying to get their hell out of trouble there. As it looks like Nate's just landed a couple of hits and already shredding him to pieces. And it looks like, oh, he's going to dodge back there. Trying to get away from the flavor. It will be finished off there. Lita going to take the kill there. Enigma buying back. They're going to try and pick off the bear if they can. Shackles down the lone druid. Change the targets to 8000. Going towards the lone druid. Trying to bring him down. Not quite having the damage. Going for Wisp instead. Wisp now running for his life. Illuminate goes through once again. Going to turn around and start hitting 8000. 8000 will be picked off there. Beastmaster is going to take that kill. As it looks like they managed to lose Keep Light as well as the life stealer. Oh, I think they should just ulti then. The Wisp still has his ulti. It's possible, yeah. They could decide to gun for that if they want to, although they're pushed back. Right. Because they had a they had a ward there, so they had vision. Um, actually no, they, no, they didn't. That's the he just placed it down. Let's see what Notel has. Yeah, he's got through. In fact, oh, wait a minute. Was it Sanj on? Beastmaster looks like Beastmaster is going for Heaven's Halberd to try and shut down the lifestyle. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be with Rage. He's going to have to wait for Rage to wear off before he can try and shut him. I mean, I assume that's going to be a Heaven's Halberd. Oh, he's dead. He hurts. He hurts oh, way too much. Oh, yeah. That's not going to happen. I think he was trying to pop down the Roar to cover his escape. Wasn't going to happen, though. I was hoping that Roar could cover him while he ran for his life. Windrunner, though, way, way too strong. With that Monkey King buff, full stuff, and the Pile, and the Hex as well. Windrunner is shredding him. Without a doubt. Meanwhile, in mid, Lone Drill getting caught out there. There's that last two. Four stars back within the firefight. Light Strike away as well on Trixie. Laguna Blade here. Cuts a black hole. Going to pick up both heroes. Wage Sexy going to pick up the kill there. Get killed there as well. It looks like Universe also going to get brought low. Pops a mech. Not enough though. German Truth Side also going to get thrown down on the ground. Meanwhile, Windrunner going to find an easy tower there. Nobody else watching to defend. Two thousand though, Daedalus is finished. Oh, this, this guy is really. I mean, this is between the Nakes and the Windrunner. There's not much that Morphling can do in terms of carrying. You just can. I mean, you just compare their damage up. It's just ridiculous at the moment. Morphling needs like three items in order before he can actually carry. He's gonna need his Manta, and he's gonna need something else. Almost. Almost a BKB. I mean, Lena last fight, Lena just poked spied in there with Laguna Blade. Didn't kill him initially. It I mean, didn't kill him, but it was just a huge health drop there. Just yeah. didn't really have much chance to react. He really needs a BKB too, but he really needs damage. So right now he needs two things, and he he can't get one or the other. If he gets the BKB, he's not gonna have enough damage, and they're gonna lose. And if he gets damage, then he needs the BKB. So, but he he has to go damage. If you go damage, you can play your opponent doesn't play well, and. So the BKB isn't necessary. But if you go BKB, the game's over instantly. 
This is true. Okay, so it looks like they are going to try and stop this Roshan. Well, they're going to come over there and just check things out. This goes to stop the Roshan there. Has popped the visibility room, but there we go. Light Strike is going to hit Trixie. Trixie gets drilled down there. Fog charging forwards. Going to pick off No Tail as well. No Tail not having any chance at all. Just gets dropped so damn quick. So it looks like they're also going to try and intercept Hanny. Hanny now. Is he getting knocked back with Flame Break? Yes, he is. Lasso still on cooldown. Getting knocked back there by the Adaptive Stripe. Open wounds down to Hanny. Hanny also getting chains down there. Laguna Blade to finish. And now wave out there from Era. I mean, it looks like they're just going to gun for the tower here as well. Just going to try and take that second melee rax. And there we go. There's that ult there from Winner. Although Glyph being popped by the Dire team. It's still a good 30 seconds before they can really muster much of a defense. And Black Hole is still down for a full minute. I think he's pretty much lights out for Fnatic at the moment. But that said, of course, it is only Game 1 and a Best of 3 series. We'll be back with Game 2 fairly shortly. Assuming that uh, Fnatic are going to GG out here. So they're going to play on for a moment. But it's not looking too good at all. There's the last two. Once again, Error's getting picked off. Hex as well. No real chance for him to escape at all. And there we go. There's that GG. Thought it was coming. Guys, keep in mind that was just game number one. But I've got to say... I've got to say, I, I thought they had a decent shot there. I mean, I thought they had a lot of potential to push. But it just came down to the fact that... I Fogged. Fog got so farmed. It's ridiculous. How did... I didn't even notice him get that ridiculously farmed. During well, that early he, phase, I mean, what was he, he won the mid lane. He got a he got first blood, I think. I I mean, there's winning mid lane, and I mean, he did get picked off after. That. I mean, there's winning mid lane, and there's having a what? What was it? A 14, 15 minute hex? What What you should look at is how much DS he has by the 10 minute mark. If you have over 60, it means you're freaking farmed, and he had like 90 something, in like 14 minutes, which means you're freaking farmed. Uh, he was in. He was massively fun. Anyway, guys, stick around. We've got game number two coming up. Stay tuned. Fnatic versus Big Dignitas.